All right, kill him. Now freeze the freak solid! It's time to talk about freezing flames Another way to win the game With Wacky Run We will remain on the top They balls It is insane Cause we smack for 160 With choice But it is 190 Combined with a shrine of punishment It's getting crazy We start things off With a trinity star Acceleration We're gonna go far We wish for being We literally are Slamming attacks To win the war The war of the prize race We smack that Guzma In the face Cause we draw it out With some striker It's fade Yo We also have them Tack cards Like Cyrus Freaking Prism Star Wrapping your butt It'll leave a scar So let's discover this card Y'all I think it's very good So it is his own episode, like you know it would. I know you already understood. Boom! Episode 202. Wise Cure Run. Yeah! What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome to episode 202, which is all about this card, White Curum. As you know, on my channel, you always get the latest uh, competitive TCG information and best new decks in town. So be sure to subscribe so you are always updated immediately when a new video pops up on the channel. So uh, this episode will be all about White Curum, and why is that? Well, it actually saw success at the Harrogate Regionals, and uh, even my uh, yeah, a good friend of mine actually played it in the day two. He actually uh, just played it at the League Cup. He didn't advance to day two but there were a white curum list that advanced to day two so that's why we're talking about white curum white curum has 130 hp which is awesome because zoroark gx will never ever one shot it and except if they're running the Bowered field or professor kukui so that is always a good thing uh having more than 120 hp that makes it difficult for zoroark players to hit this number except if they're playing lots of stadium cards like the Bowered field so uh his attack field crush deals at 30 damage if uh, your opponent has a stadium card in play you can just uh, discard that so that is i Deal to just get rid of some Prism Star Stadium cards because this list does not run any uh, uh, things like Field Blower. You could run that, but I'm gonna talk about a couple of cards that will go very well along with this White Curum. White Curum is a, the, an insane Pokemon because it hits, of course, for weakness against Blastcephalon, the most powerful and uh, most popular Pokemon in the current meta right now in Standard. So. That's why White Curum did so good. People were not expecting White Curum, and White Curum actually destroys Blacephalon in one shot. Uh, we don't even need the secondary effect, and we're gonna talk about Freezing Flames now. Freezing Flames actually deals 80 damage plus 80 more if uh, this Pokemon has a Fire Energy attached. So that is uh, the requirement it needs. And then you can just simply dish out 160. That is a lot for three energies on a one price attacker. You can even uh, uh, boost the damage output with Choice Band and all that good stuff. So now we're actually gonna talk about White. Curum, it has a tree retreat cut, it's weak to metal, things about, think about Sogaleo GX, the promo one, that's a very uh, nasty weakness to have. Also, uh, what uh, Pokemon might just uh, get a, a little shot on White Curum, that could be Registeel, or maybe the attacking Steelix, that is also a deck we're gonna explore soon on the channel, but now, we're gonna talk about White Curum. So, we need to set this White Curum up, and how are we gonna be able to do that? Let me just uh, put him aside here. We're gonna be uh, running Arceus Prism Star, that is the next card I'm gonna talk about here. Arceus Prism Star, you might not expect this card to do well well that's where you're wrong it does have the first law ability here as you can see prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this pokemon so as a little effect bursting burn of the blacephalon gx will not even touch this guy poison shenanigans triple poison screw that arceus is immune for all that uh, stuff so arceus is a very nasty counter against uh, things like chuckle as a matter of fact you can just put it in the active and just stall <laughs> against the stall deck how uh, <laughs> ironic is that so that is very uh, great to have it uh, also cannot get uh, affected by the special conditions and stuff because uh, uh, it prevents all effects so uh, only the damage goes through onto Arceus Prism Star but the most important thing is uh, Arceus Prism Star has the Trinity Star as you might have heard from the rap you dish out 30 damage and uh, you can only use this attack if you have a grass water and lightning Pokemon on your bench then you can search your deck for up to three basic energies and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like how powerful is that for the god Pokemon of all of them so uh, Arceus Prism Star also has 160 HP very hard to not out and uh, not a lot of Pokemon can dish out 160 and that's why this is your ideal Pokemon I know that this might be priced it's a Prism Star card and uh, that's why you might uh, be thinking about running Gladion well this list even runs without Gladion uh, this is I'm not gonna go give you a deck list because we're gonna be uh, play testing the, this uh, deck entirely on TCGO this week so uh, expect a video like that soon this is just explaining how the deck functions okay 
So we have Arceus, Prism, Star on the active. We need to have energy acceleration by our side. So uh, the, the best thing is just giving a water energy. This deck runs uh, approximately like uh, seven, eight water energies and then four uh, fire energies. There's not a lot of fire energies in here because we can simply surge them out with Arceus, Prism, Star. So this is the main mechanic. You have your Arceus set up with an energy. Now you're just gonna think about, ooh, now I need some uh, lightning Pokemon. Well, the options are very nice. We have, uh, you can even go for Tapu Koko, Free Retreat is awesome and also can uh, use Flying Flip in uh, some situations. Definitely great against the Lost March Jack. You might wonder how you can get those energies onto Tapu Koko and that's where a Wishful Baiton will come into play. We're gonna talk about that soon. The other option you have for Lightning Pokemon is, of course, Consistency Boosters up Strike Out with a Sprint ability. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. This is very aggressive draw support and will help you to get that uh, yeah crucial Aqua Patch or that crucial Guzma. So uh, I do suggest getting this in play. You definitely need a little Blitzel to evolve into that uh, Zubstrika, so just as a little side note. But Tapu Koko, why might as well also be on the bench. You never, uh, it's never a bad card, it has for your treat. And then for a Grass type, we're gonna be running the uh, Feramosa from Forbidden Light. This one has free retreat, uh, it packs uh, the attack high jump kick for 20 damage, not uh, the best amount of damage, but uh, we're also not going to ever use that other attack, uh, we're definitely going to just put it down as a grass type with free retreat, will help with the Guzma place if you're not running Tapu Koko, this will be your ideal setup. So, now that we have our Pokemon set up, we can use Trinity Star. So uh, as early as our uh, first turn, if we go second and we get uh, a board position like this, this will actually be a, a board position like that because you cannot evolve on the first turn. So uh, let's say you have this on the, your first turn, if you go second, well, you can immediately rely on Trinity Star. And Trinity Star is actually pretty awesome. It lets you search your deck for three energies and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So uh, I always recommend attaching a fire energy and then two water energies, uh, depending on uh, your hand, you might as well get another white Kyurem into play and attach uh, another energy onto that white curum so it looks very blurry at this point so let's uh, let, lay them out to the side right here so that is your ideal board position so your second actually your first turn if you go second this uh, might look like this so that way white curum is already prepped and can dish out quite a lot of damage it's not like gramble where you have to empty your hand you just smack down 160 how awesome is that now you might wonder uh, if we run another curum how do we get the energies to that curum well uh, just a little sec here i'm going to get myself another water uh, actually white Kyurem here, it's in my binder here, it's ready for the video, here it is, another white Kyurem, let's say we just bench this down, our white Kyurem number 2, and uh, yeah, the following turn we just uh, decide, oh, we're just retreating, just putting it in the discard, and then we just promote our white Kyurem, that is just how the deck functions, and uh, the good news is, uh, with the water energy that is now in the discard pile, we can start relying on Aqua Patch, and uh, Aqua Patch is very amazing in this deck, because with Aqua Patch, as you can see, you can just get the energy from the discard to one of the bench water types, and that will be Curum. So that's how it works. Uh, not only that, let's say you, you whiff on Aqua Patches, that is also something that could happen. Then you just rely on the Wishful Baton. So uh, with Wishful Baton, you just uh, get uh, all the energies back to one of your Pokemon on the bench. If you get knocked out, let's say uh, something pops up, they have Devoured Field, the Righteous Beating with the full bench, bam, our White Curum is knocked out. But uh, we actually dealt, dealt already 160 damage with it, so uh, that's very good. So the thing here, everything goes to the discard pile, except for the energies, those go to another Pokemon. So uh, we don't even need Aqua Patch at this scenario. So uh, we just put them like this. So you have another White Curum set up and then you just go in circles. You just bench another one of your White Curum and uh, you just go in circles like that. If you already can rely on Aqua Patch, it's gonna be awesome. That way you don't need to rely on Wishful Baton on the active and you can just uh, go with uh, an, an awesome Choice Band here because with Choice Band, this White Curum will be dishing out 190. That is territory of Boswell GX, uh, Ultra Necrozma GX, but, uh, what else? Uh, Rayquaza GX. A lot of things do have 190 HP for uh, ba big basic GXs. If not, you want to hit for 200, uh, that's also possible. We have uh, Shrine of Punishment. If Shrine of Punishment is in play, this White Curum will be dishing out 200 damage. And that's how the deck functions. Early game, you get out your Arceus Prism Star. Then you just set up a White Curum. And then with a Wishful Baton, it goes to uh, another uh, White Curum on the bench. And that one could be using Choice Land to finish another Pokemon off. Because this scenario will dish out 200 on a GX Pokemon. And that is a territory of Lycanroc GX, Alolan Ninetales GX, and so much more. Even when... Uh, 
the Sylveon Jax might just go down. The bad thing is that uh, this deck relies heavily on the Fire Energy. If you don't have the Fire Energy, this deck uh, crumbles a little bit apart. Although hitting for 110 with, of course, uh, the uh, Freezing Flames is also very good to two shot. So that is that. Uh, what other Pokemon might you want to be running in this deck? Uh, there's of course Victinia. I love Victinia because Victinia would VB down. This is out 20 damage for each of your basic Pokemon in play. And that is a lot because let's say you just leave this a Blitzel. That won't happen a lot. But let's say in worst case scenario, this is our Bart position. Uh, let's just get him back out of the discard. This isn't uh, a real match, so I can do that. Haha. <laughs> so let's say this is our Bart position. Then, uh, well, you can just uh, use the VB down. Let's say... Uh, we use a uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave this scenario again. Let's get the choice band away Let's uh, equip the wistful bait. They smack down one of our white curums and well You can always always rely on the tech card Victini that way you just put some energies onto the Victini That's how it goes actually there's a wishful bait is uh, to one of your bench Pokemon So you cannot divide it up so uh, sometimes your Victini will be having more energies than it actually needs But that happens from time to time so now we can use VB down uh, the situation will be like this in the late game uh, because we already evolved. So uh, VB down for 20 damage for each of your basic Pokemon in play. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100 damage. If we equip a simple choice band onto that Victini, you'll be one-shotting things like Sceptile GX, which actually saw a huge amount of play, and Harrogate Regionals. We can also one-shot Metagross GX. So bye-bye, uh, big HP. If they don't run uh, Metal Frying Pan, that is. Also Sogalea from the Sun and Moon base set, one-shot a Golisopod, one one shot at, uh, you can also use this to uh, one shot a little Exagitar. So I do like the inclusion of the VB down Victini. It's a very nice tech card in this list. So uh, let's get our energies back to our main attacker. It's gonna be White Cure. So uh, this is a very nice deck because uh, as you see, a one prizer that dishes out to that much damage and can have uh, room for tech cards is amazing. What other cards might you want you to be running in a deck like this? It's gonna be Marshadow. Marshadow is almost in every single list. This will help you out. You have access to Sprint, you desperately need that Guzma, well, no problem, you just Marshadow, the opponent gets disrupted early game, very great against stage 2 setup decks, think about, um, yeah, Guard of War with Swampert as an example, you use Marshadow, they Brick, you can win games with that, because this, uh, uh, yeah, relies on uh, the Trinity Star, that you definitely need, sometimes that uh, our Arceus Prison Star might be priced, so that's why you just need to slow down the opponent with the Marshadow. The good news about having a free retreat, Feromosa, you might say this card is useless. Well, not at all. With a choice band, you actually hit 100 on things that are weak to grass. Think about Lycanroc GX. <laughs> Yeah, it's not as useless as it seems, but it helps out a lot with the Guzma plays. This deck will definitely run uh, four Guzmas uh, because uh, you just have so much uh, playability with this. With Guzma, you promote Feromosa, you retreat manually, and you have access to everything. It works out like a Lysander, so that's why how good Guzma is in a deck like this. Also, uh, some of these White Kirans might have no energy attached, and they will be stuck in the active. So uh, Guzma, a couple of four of those in, in the deck. For other Pokemon in the list, I think that is that. You can also rely on, uh, let's say, a water tag. Nah, you don't need extra water tags. You might be thinking about other tech cards that you might want to use, but uh, be sure to need fire and water energies. Okay. Moving forward, how do we get the setup? Well, we're gonna be running on the Ultra Ball Nest Ball engine. We're gonna be running four of those and four of those. And this is not an exact deck list as mentioned, but it's gonna give you a big idea of how the deck actually functions. So, uh, with a combination of uh, yeah, Lily and uh, the uh, Cynthia here, four of those, uh, I would run four of each. So, uh, with the combination of Ultra Ball and the Nest Ball, you'll definitely have your setup prepped up. And uh, as soon as you get some Striker, let's say you need the Guzma, sprint everything away. Bam, that's how it goes. Oh, how? Look at this. We have a uh, yeah. We look at our hand. We have now, bam. This is our hand. This is not bad. We have a uh, wish for bait, and we have uh, a Pokemon, and we have that and the Guzma that we need to knock something out. So that's how Sprint works. As you see in this hand, we also have Acrobike, which might help out if you just want to be a little bit more aggressive. But be careful if you got rid of your fire engines. And thanks to Acrobike, it happens sometimes when there are like two fire engines in there. Not a lot, but it happens. Acrobike is also nice to get your water engines in the discard pile to just reuse them with. Aqua Patch, that's how it runs. And uh, as a little side note, I definitely would be running energy recycle system because sometimes you sprint away everything and then life is just uh, treating you not well. <laughs> so that's why energy recycle system will help you out in that scenario. Get a, a one energy to the hand or shuffle three of them back in the deck. Pretty similar like rescue stretcher, but then for energies. All right, what else? Uh, yeah, rescue stretcher, talking about rescue stretcher, you definitely need that. Let's say 
they knock out your zip striker well sometimes you might be uh yeah dead drawing so that's why you need a rescue stretcher to could, uh, put all those cards back in so you can uh, re definitely set up your zip striker once more Ta -da! and then what other cards i want to talk about these are a little bit niche pi picks uh it's gonna be the unit energy. Unit energy counts as a water and a fire at once. So that means if you attach it to a white curum, it either counts as a water as well as a fire. But uh, in a meta where there's lots of uh, special energy discard shenanigans like Enhanced Hammer and Fava and all that stuff, I would not recommend it, but it's also something I want to mention here. And then this card, Cyrus. As you see, it's a proxy. I know, I uh, traded mine away because somebody wanted to play uh, Cyrus in a deck like this. So Cyrus, what does he do? Uh, actually, if uh, you have a water Pokemon in the active position, like this White Kieran for example, your opponent selects two bench Pokemon. All the rest, he has to shuffle it and all cards attach them into the deck. Wow, this can be so disruptive against Zoroark decks, Molomar decks, etc. Let's say you're facing off against Zoroark Decidueye. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna keep their Decidueyes? Are they gonna smack down uh, Zoroark and the Decidueye? Who knows? But a lot of their bench, bam, back in the deck. So that is very, very nasty. So that this card might actually uh, disrupt a lot of opponents. Let's say you use Cyrus in combination with a Marshadow. That is just uh, horrifying to just think about. But this is how the deck functions. This is a, a deck uh, analysis video. As you see, this is a, a new style where I showcase how the plays work in the, in the video. Let me know if you like this. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button and the uh, main strategy is of course getting out your Arceus Prism Star as early as possible. The good thing is that almost everything has pre retreat except for the White Kyurem. Uh, it's unfortunate but you can Guzma into your Arceus Prism Star, attach an energy and bam off you go attaching energies onto your White Kyurem. So that's how the deck functions. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this deck. Will we see more of it in the, the current meta because it actually looks promising. I faced uh, off against a deck like this and it's actually very good. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day, uh, stay fresh guys, and I'll be uploading more TCG content very shortly, so be sure you are subscribed, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out. If you wanna go and test a deck that isn't played a lot, then it's for my dad, listen to what I'll say. If you wanna go and try it out with me, let me know how it does in a tournament, I think it could be really great. Chilling on Sundays, while new ideas pop in my brain